Good morning, class. Hopefully your week is going good. We are the six-month-old baby group, and this is our presentation. Ideas on how to deal with separation anxiety at the child center, care center. As you know, most infants and toddlers hates being away from their parents. Most of the time they will cry, make a fuss, all sorts of stuff. Usually, after a week or a couple days, the child will calm down because they'll make new friends and they'll get used to the caretakers. Some children, unfortunately, don't get over the anxiety. And it is our job to help them get over the anxiety. And with the parents' help, we can make the separation a little bit more better. Our child's temperament and supportive ideas on how to cope with it. Our child, Caroline, she has a calm temperament, but she does tend to get a little upset when her parents leave, which makes it harder for her to get attached to anybody in her, the daycare center because she's so attached to her parents. We encourage Caroline's parents to bring something home with her to school so she'll have that connection with her parents still while she's at school. Um, we will with Caroline, because she's only six months, we need to have a connection with her. So we would have a, one of the teachers like have us do something special that is just between her and Caroline. Even though she's only six months old, like um, a song or you know something that when she comes in, she knows that her parents will be leaving, so she'll be able to get attached to the caretaker a little bit more easier. We want Caroline to grow an attachment with her teachers. And we will like to see her have a kind of bond with the other students in the classroom too. So we will try to, with the parents' help, try to come up with different ways that will reduce her separation anxiety. So even if it's bringing a couple things in from home so she still has her parents' scent and the scent from home or a security blanket or a stuffed animal or something, it might help her with her separation anxiety. Our ideas in making arrival and departure easier is that Caroline's mother and father both work full time. We would want to um, encourage the parents to take in some time off work at least one parent, and have them come to the child care center. We'll ask them to stay for the full day, the first day they drop her off, and then gradually fade off in the distance. And usually when parents could do this, the child will be better when the parent actually does leave permanently. Well, not permanently, but leave for the day. <clears throat> we'll also promote the, that the first couple of days that Caroline's parents will bring photos and we'll hang them like by her when she's taking a nap. We'll put them by her crib. And then we'll have it by her cubby and whatever educator is holding Caroline will bring her to the picture and we'll tell her like say hello to mommy and daddy, you know, just so she could know that her parents would still be there. And we'll like sing a, start singing songs, like a departure song, and it'll be like the same song so she knows that when we sing this song, her parents are coming. When we sing this song, her parents will be leaving. A special toy to help Caroline cope with her separation anxiety. Uh, one thing that we would set out for Caroline in the morning is little shakers full of different textures. Caroline loves rattles. So if we have different 
bottles with different noises. She might want to play with those things more and get over the fact that her parents have just left, which will help her cope with her anxiety. <clears throat> Implanting Child Care and Early Years Act. We would incorporate the date observation of each child before they associate with the other children by making it part of a rival routine. We will make it a habit where par before pa their parents leave, we will discuss on how they were feeling today. Like six months old, you can't say, how are you feeling today and expect them to respond. We would send them soothing words like, your parents will be here soon, it's the end of the day, like this, talk to them and it might be beneficial for the parents and the child in the end. And as always, the parents will always be the first one to notice when there's something wrong with their child. We will have daily written records of what Caroline has done, what she ate, if she got hurt, anything. And we'll make it into a routine that when Caroline's parents come pick her up, we will go over the written record and tell them what happened. Quiz time. Our child suffers from separation anxiety. She has a toy that distracts her to take distracts her to take away from anxiety. Our child has no anxiety at all. Her family background contributed to her anxiety. According to the Child Care and Early Years Act, there are only four rules you need to follow. The answers are true, true, false, false, false. That's it for our presentation. I hope you guys all have a good weekend. See you guys Monday, and remember, one more week, it is reading week.